So I hope you're well. And in today's video, we're gonna jump into some rapid fat loss. So I did a little live training a few days ago, um, a bit of a workshop, had a lot of people on Zoom and went through my rapid fat loss method that I've been using for quite a few years now with clients and uh, to help accelerate their fat loss. So it's a great kickstart and something that you can throw in from time to time or pull out little bits of, um, yeah, of, the, of the method, of the techniques that are in there and throw them in as well to help it be a bit more sustainable. Um, but I know a lot of you couldn't make it, so I'm gonna quickly fly through it, give you the nuts and bolts so that you have um, well, have have the uh, the main or well, the key information that you can go away with and use. So, if you're watching live, make sure you say hello. Um, stick your name in the chat as well because I am live on YouTube, Facebook, Facebook group, and my profile as well. So, make sure you say hello. And if you're watching the replay, make sure you drop a hashtag replay in the comments. And if you have any questions at any point during this video, do let me know. Okay. So, I'm going to share my screen. And as I say, quickly fly through this so that you have the key information. So let me uh, bring up my screen. I'm going to share it now. And let's see what we have. All right. So here we go. So I've got uh, the information on one side. So I'll be looking across there um, to make sure we're in the right place. So I see Dawn's in as well. Good to see you, Dawn. And Dawn, you've actually used this before because I'm going to talk about the five day cycle in here. Okay. You know all about this and you know it works. So speaking of it, does this work? Now, the other day I went through this and a bit of an intro and stuff, but I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to jump straight into that. Although that is a key information. Why do you want to lose weight in the first place? Because it's no good just wanting to fit into clothes. You need a big why. So is it long-term health? Is it confidence? Um, get a spark back in your relationship? What is it that, you know, the reason why you really want to lose weight? Um, I won't jump into too much of that. That's my mug and my family and some of the reasons why I look after my health, but I'm going to skip over all this. Now, I want to show you why this works, okay? Some of the people that have done this. And this is my sister, and she's the reason why this exists in the first place. She was struggling with her health, um, wanted to lose weight, so shot me a, you know, a text message to see if I could help her. And so I put together a little program for her. And at, at the time, there was, no, there was no, you know, videos or anything like that. Um, it was just text messages, really. I was sending a text message saying, right, this is what you need to do this day, this day, and this day. Get on it. Okay, so that's what we did. So this is her results. Um, not too shabby there. I'm going to go over some of the uh, the comments here. So over 19 days. So the, the workshop, actually, was the title of it was how to lose 7 to 10 pounds in 20 days. But you'll notice through... If you're looking at some of these comments in here that uh, people tend to lose a little bit more than that so we've got amanda here lost nine pounds five and a half inches uh, david he lost 17 pounds uh, and that was on day 10 okay and i'm sure there's going to be a little bit of water weight in there but still uh, a lot of chub in there as well okay so something you might want to look into i think steve lost about 14 pounds charlie lost about 11 pounds um, we've got Lovey here. This is what day 10, 10 pounds and seven inches. Um, some of the inch loss is sometimes quite dramatic because we want to improve your diet, try and get rid of some of that bloat, that information. So quite often there's a dramatic reduction in the waistline as well. Um, Michaela lost quite a few pounds there, so 20, 25 pounds. I think, I think Sarah lost about seven or eight pounds. Mick, somewhere in the region, 10 to 14 pounds. Zevo, what we got? Five kilos in ten days. Uh, Maria, eight pounds eleven inches. What do we get? Chris was. Let me see. Let me see what we got. Thirteen pounds. And we go on to Chris as well. Here, he lost quite a few pounds. Lorna lost about fourteen pounds for a wedding. So this works. So if you're still watching this, make sure you're on it. All right. So I'm gonna talk for it in a second. I don't want to spend. I want to be about ten minutes or something like that. So I'm not gonna spend an hour like I did the other day. So I'm going to fly through this in a second, but just want to show you this does actually work. And then you can take it apart a little bit and throw in certain aspects of it to make sure it's sustainable and then throw it again and again down the line. So uh, Paul, 24 pounds lost in 19 days. Mornay, nearly 20 pounds in the 19 days as well. Uh, Grant, where was he? Seven kilos lost in 10 days. So 
over 20 days looking to do measurements and your weight on day one and then obviously take some photos as well but do it on day 10 and do it on day 20. that's the best way to go about it a few caveats with this now i mentioned this the other day uh, for women in particular low calorie dieting uh, if you've done that forever if you've been yo-yo yo-yoing all over the place trying different diets bang 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 all the time then it may have messed up the metabolism a little bit and so it might not work as well for you um also wacky hormones if you're going through menopause or if you've dealt with stress any serious trauma if you work night shifts uh, you know when you're doing days then going back onto nights then back onto days that can cause issues as well so the results that you get may be um restricted by some of these things okay uh, medication is another one and of course the last one is your discipline your willpower can you stick with it all right can you go and give it your best shot and i'm not talking about doing it um to the letter but you know focus in the mind 20 days right let's see what i can do in those 20 days all right so moving on from there right uh the first thing and I'm, it's kind of one of those caveats you need to try and reduce the inflammation in your body try and get your liver working properly try and get your digestive system working properly and part of this is eating real food so you know what that is whole food diet fruit vegetables lean meats nuts seeds that sort of stuff i'm not going to go into too much detail on that um but if you've always been struggling with your health look for those clues look what's going on in your in your diet um, in your lifestyle i think right what can you do going forward to try and help improve those aspects okay um i'm just reading i think this is dawn's comment here absolutely at 61 i lost 36 pounds and i feel better than i ever have and i probably should mention there i think that's you dawn that it probably wasn't 36 pounds in those first 19 days okay so i think it was a couple of times around or spread out a little bit um we have had one guy i think lost 26 pounds without doing any exercise but it's worth pointing out that the bigger you are the more you're going to lose so someone like me i'm not going to lose that much okay i haven't got that much to lose in the first place so if you've got 50 pounds plus to lose then you can definitely lose more than that one to two pounds a week that is often put out there and I think sometimes just to make people feel better about themselves. If you're following a clean diet, none of these other tools, then one or two pounds a week is, yeah, it's a good shout. Put in some exercise, you can speed it up. But as I said, if, you're, if you've got 50 plus pounds to lose, then you can definitely lose a bit more. All right, so let's move on. Um, elimination diets. So lots of people who have allergies or intolerances will go through this sort of thing. It's uh, cutting out some of the foods that are known to um, spike inflammation um, cause digestive issues um, so you're looking at the processed food um, wheat gluten perhaps as well in there refined sugars um, alcohol dairy caffeine and you don't have to be perfect on this all right so um, this is doing this for four days and then you get to eat whatever you want on the fifth day okay so there are a whole bunch of reasons why we shouldn't be eating those things or at least minimizing those things and um it is to try and get your hormones working properly, reduce the blood sugar, try and get your liver working properly, give you some more energy. As a, you know, we could go on and on about that, but I don't want to get bogged down into that. Now, as I said, over the 20 days, we're looking at you know 80%, 90% on this. So it's you know, trying to be good for four days, and then you can eat what you want, okay? Uh, things like caffeine or even, even dairy, you know, can you have a cup of coffee? I'm going to say yes, all right? It's not, not the end of the world if you have a cup of coffee. If you're having four, five, six cups of coffee in a day, then that's going to be a problem. Okay. All right. So this is the, uh, the biggie, right? So I, I call it the hot zone. And, uh, some of the have followed this program before I've done my leaning 19 program. We'll know all about this. And the hot zone is when your metabolism is elevated. It's firing on all cylinders. Okay. So through the eating clean, you know, eating healthy food, eliminating all the junk, then we put this on top of it to help really fire up your metabolism and you'll see here that i've kind of tried to do a little graph here a little chart to show you a crash diet yeah you'll get some results at the beginning bosh but over time it will fade away and this is when some, a lot of women in particular will go oh i'll just go lower calorie i'll drop the calories some more and more and more and more and it becomes less effective and that's because there's a hormone called leptin and leptin will kick up a stink Get his knickers in a twist if you cut the calories too low for too long and if you cut the carbs as well for too long and so 
it's something you need to bear in mind and which is why we you know cheat days exist or what i call a reset day because you reset the hormones and resetting your mind at the same time it makes it easier if we allow to eat some of the things that we enjoy and and it resets that leptin hormone at the same time so we're trying to keep your metabolism at the top here so this is where we want to be and if you know some people that have done the lean 19 program have followed this uh, process will say oh can i just do it again can i at the end of 20 days can i just go again it's like i don't advise that um, and again it's because of this this hormone leptin and because mentally it's it gets a little bit tough so have a have at least a week or two off um, ideally a little bit longer try and get used to sitting at that new weight that you're at and um, try and get some of those lifestyle habits in place you know better sleep trying to still focus on eating healthy food you know fruit vegetables all those things that's definitely going to help you out okay um because if you just go back to what you did before and the weight's going to gradually come back up because you, you may be overweight for a reason um eating too much bread too much sugar no exercise those sorts of things so we need to get on top of those things okay so looking at your lifestyle i often say like a lifestyle audit so looking at your sleep stress exercise diet hydration score yourself from one to ten on each of those and then the low numbers are where you need to work on and then try and stick a habit on each of those um maybe just two habits over a month and build up from there get consistent with those habits and then bring in someone else and start to stack them up Okay, that's the best way to go about it. Um, it's also worth noting that this method that I'm about to jump into in a second, the five day cycle, you can adapt this over a period of days. So some people say, oh, I can't start next week because I've got a work due. You can move the days around a little bit. You can be flexible with this, okay? All right, so, oh yeah, here's the big one. So the two methods in here really are intermittent fasting and carb cycling. So we're trying to drop the carbs down bring in some intermittent fasting. There's hormonal benefits to these two and the calorie deficit from the intermittent fasting as well. Okay, so they are the key factors there. Of course, intermittent fasting, tons and tons of benefits there. We talk about uh, sort of detoxing the body, allowing your digestive system to go into uh, repair mode, um, tons and tons of benefits on those. Um, but I want to show you how this looks. Okay, let me jump into this quickly. So over five days, this is the plan. All right, so you may want to take notes on this or take a screenshot, whatever. Make sure you lock this in. So day one, it's a fast. So we have an 18-hour fast. If you've never fasted before, um, it works by you start the night before. So if I was fasting tomorrow, I'm going to start tonight. So the last mouthful is when I start my fast. Okay, and you just count 18 hours forward. It doesn't have to be a strict 18 hours. You know, 16 to 18 is, is long enough to get the benefit short enough not to be a complete ball ache okay so that is a, is a good shout if you're completely new to fasting and then you might just want to dip your toe in the water okay so don't go crazy um and what i mean by that is be you know be sensible if you start feeling like uh you're getting hangry or you're feeling low on energy then you stop you just say okay first time around bosh that's it i've just tested the water next time you see how you go again and you like that so just be sensible okay i see a couple of other people jumping in out in here so rach is in as well good to see you rach um right moving on so day two low carb i'm gonna i'm gonna go into this a bit more detail in a second day three low carb so fast low carb low carb fast reset day so eat whatever you want basically okay that is the nook that is the uh nuts and bolts of it right there okay but i want to jump into each day so the 18 hour fast so 14, you know, 14 to 18 hours if you're just starting out 16 to 18 if you feel okay with fasting and it doesn't cause you too much issues after the fast and this is the key thing because there's lots of people fast there's lots of people that skip breakfast but they're still overweight and it's because they're just having all their calories later in the day which is fine there's nothing wrong with that you don't have to have breakfast if you don't want to but for the purpose of this method we want to put a cap on those calories we want to get that calorie deficit we want to get your body to reach into those fat stores pull them out and then kick them out the window so we need to keep a cap on those fast days and we're looking at 500 to a thousand calories roughly guys you can get away with a bit more women you're going to be sort of in that sort of 500 to 800 range um, that is tends to be better um, will you be hungry probably all right but hunger is not necessarily a bad thing that's a sign that your body's then going to think right we need to get some energy from somewhere where are we going to get it all right so thighs hips belly 
All right, so hunger is going to be your friend. All right, you, you, I think fasting definitely teaches you what hunger really is. Because some people, you know, they say, "Oh, I'm starving." It's like you, you're not. You're definitely not starving, are you? Um, so expect a little bit of hunger. Don't need to be absolutely uh, ravenous, but it's going to be a little bit of hunger. Expect that. Um, so drink. Lots of water. Um, if you're just starting the day, so like a water with lemon juice, warm water, lemon juice, um, a bit of apple cider vinegar with apple juice in there as well. It's going to help um, just for overall health. Um, can you have tea or coffee? Yes, you can. Some people are strict on fasting or strict on keto, that sort of thing. They say, no, no, you can't do that. I've done this with various people and it doesn't really matter. OK, you don't get any significant benefits if you have tea or coffee in the morning. OK, it's just a case of not having six, seven, eight cups in the day. That's the thing that causes the problems, okay? All right, moving on from there. By the way, if there's any questions while we're doing this, do let me know, all right? If you're watching this thing, I don't I don't quite get that. Stick them in the comments and I'll try and answer them later on for you, okay? All right, so what would you eat? Uh, so the breakfast, you don't have any breakfast. It's just, you know, coffee, tea, water. Lunch, a light lunch, ideally. You know, you keep mindful of those calories. Um, so it's a light lunch. I, I, I've put down a couple of examples here: potato, turkey, casserole. It could be you know a chicken salad or something like that. And then later on, you'd have a, a bigger meal. Um, so steak, broccoli, sweet potato. Um, you've got to get those greens in over these five days. Definitely got to get those greens in. Get that fiber in there. It's, it's going to help you out so much. All right. So low carb. All right. You can eyeball this, and you can do the same with the fast as well. Actually, you can eyeball it or you can track it. It's up to you. What do you want to do? Do you, uh, for the first time through, you can probably just get away with eyeballing. I know loads of people that haven't tracked anything um, and just eyeballed and felt, right, low carb day, okay, what do I need to steer clear of? Pastries, bread, rice, pasta, those sorts of things, all right? And that will cut your carbs down probably enough. So under 100 grams is what we're sort of aiming for. Ideally lower than that if you can, but it's not the end of the world if you don't, okay? You just... Be mindful of the carbs that are coming in, uh, fruit juices, things like that. So the regular ones you know about. So obviously sugar, candy, bread, pasta, rice, those sorts of things. And you can have the best way to do this if you're having a meal with the, with the kids, with the family later on, or your husband or wife, then try and save your carbs up for later in the day. OK, um, what would you eat? So scrambled eggs, avocado, tomatoes in the morning. Again, you know, it's low carb. Uh, I've put for lunch like a, a burger bowl, kind of like a salad, but it's, we've done it with a burger here. You know, salad leaves, tomatoes, anything you want on there, really. And then dinner is kind of more of a, of a regular dinner. So sausage, cream, cabbage, greens. Mention the greens again. Uh, snacks, grapes, walnuts. So trying to be mindful of not to get those carbs to go sky high, right? Most people are having way too many carbs for their activity level, and that's often what causes too many calories. Um, too many carbs for, for the activity level. And so that's that's an issue. All right, so moving on from there. Any questions, bang them in the comments for me. Um, so a reset day. So it's worth me going back there actually for a second. A low carb day, day two and three, okay? It's just the same day, nothing different. All right, and then on day five, kind of like a I can relax. So what do you eat on day five? So day five is, is the cheat day or the reset day to mentally take a break, but also get leptin or keep leptin happy. And so that you, uh, your metabolism doesn't slow down and we stay in that sort of elevated rate uh, state what we want it to be in. All right. So you can eat whatever you want on this day, which, you know, puts a smiley face on uh, most, <laughs> most people's uh, face. Um, two ways to go about it though all right so there's uh there's the clean cheat and there's the dirty cheat all right and the clean cheat is just more calories and more carbs so you're still trying to follow that wholesome diet eating healthy and stick to those elimination guidelines i mentioned earlier you'll get better results that way it's better for your health but not so good on on the days when you're out and you're with family or work colleagues so Sometimes to bring in some pizza, you know, sweets, chocolate, that sort of thing, you know, to help recharge your willpower, your um, and going forward, um, how well you'll stick with it. So we all need that break from time to time. So the dirty cheat, or even a combination of the two. So I often recommended like, okay, keep your breakfast and your lunch pretty healthy, but then in the evening, okay, 
eat whatever you want. Just the key thing is not to overdo it. You don't want to go and smash four or five thousand calories in in one day. All right, and that's going to you know take away from what you've done over the previous four days. So aim for a maintenance calorie intake of what you would normally eat or slightly above. Okay, that's the goal. You can go on something like MyFitnessPal or go on Google and type in you know, what is my calorie maintenance level, put in your weight, your height, your activity level, and it'll give you a rough um, calorie maintenance level. So the amount of calories you need to sustain your, your body, um, but it's not necessary. So don't get bogged down too much in the details of doing this, okay? Uh, the next day, if you are um curious as to what the scale is doing and expect a bit of an increase okay get a bit of a water weight bounce when you have more carbs okay so there's something to expect there all right so quick recap on that day one you're fasting day two low carb day three low carb day four fasting day five you reset it okay take that break and i put at the bottom here add exercise so you don't have to. I mean, lots of people can't exercise for whatever reason, don't have time, Some excuses, excuses. Um, so you don't have to do any exercise while doing this, but if you plug in some exercise, you often get better results. It keeps you more focused and it's better for you. So in terms of exercise, what would you do? You could walk, okay? If you've not done any exercise for ages, walking is not, not a bad shout. You can walk every day. But ideally, you're looking to do some sort of uh, you know lifting, so resistance training or some high-intensity training, circuit training, something along those lines. Push-ups, squats, lunges, those sorts of things will help massively and long-term as well. Okay, You want to get some extra muscle on your body. That's going to elevate your metabolism um, and something you should definitely look to work on. Um, I think we're good. So, all right, where are we on here? Let me get off this thing. Here we go. All right, so I, I did this the other day and I'm going to offer it to you guys as well. So if you want a bit more hand-holding with this, if you're, you know, I mentioned this earlier, if your willpower, your discipline is not very good at the best of times, then we can plug this in for you as with our coaching program. And uh, so we have the coaching, which we use an app for, and we also do the Lean In 19 program as well. So we can merge the two, um, kickstart your weight loss. And uh, if you're interested in that, I'm not going to go into any more details, but you can check it out. If you're interested in that, I'll put the link down in, in the comments for you. Go and check it out. If you use the code RAPID, because it's RAPID fat loss, is what we're looking for, RAPID, you'll get 50% off your first month. But as I said, we'll throw in Lean In 19 for you as well. So the way it works, we load up all the reminders when you're fasting, when your low-carb days are, put in the exercises for you as well, and we'll keep you accountable along the way. So if you are interested in something like that, then jump down to mybodyfixers.com and use the code RAPID, okay? That's important you use that, so it tells us you want the Lean In 19 as well, okay? So if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, I said I don't wanna bang on too much about that. The key thing is that you follow this cycle, all right? And as I mentioned, once you've finished, you need a break from it, but you've gotta work on those lifestyle habits. Otherwise, it just re reverses and reverses gradually, and you end up back where you are right now. So look at your lifestyle, what's going on, are you getting good sleep? Are you eating whole foods? Are you exercising? Where else can you improve? And that's the key to long-term weight loss. But if you want to speed things up now, give this a bash. And you know, certain things like fasting or even you know, a low-carb approach going forward isn't a bad idea. You can adapt this over seven days. You know, a fast once a week or once a month is not a bad idea. And uh, reducing that carb intake for many of you might be a good idea, especially if you're not doing any exercise, all right? So any questions, just give me a shout. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, give it a like, give it a share. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried this. For you, you lot that have done it before, let me know in the comments. Love to hear from you. And um, have a great day. All right, so take care for now. And I will catch you later. Bye-bye.